guys. Welcome to our blending lesson today. So good to see everyone again. Uh, today's January 5th. We're doing some more review of Unit 2, which is all of those digraphs that we have been working on. So we're going to practice high frequency words first. And these ones are actually Unit 1 words and a little bit of Unit 2, just to give some extra practice. So of course, make sure you're focused. Uh, take a nice big deep breath if you need it. And if you know the word, say it. If not, make sure you're paying attention and repeating after me. Okay. Call. Eat. Who. Want. All. Her. Day. Good breath. Many. Around. Place. To. Like the number. Move. By. Jump. Run to they make fun pull come be down out good very up what does school not excellent thank you so much for your participation all right so our first word such your turn a ch such all right so this word such s says s. u says a s a s a and then c h like the cheese card says ch so that ch can be spelled with a ch, as in this word, such, or it can be spelled with a tch, like a word that we're going to do in a little bit. Tch you will only see at the end of a word. All right, now let's blend. Such, excellent, thank you. All right, next word, chat, your turn. Ch, a, t, chat. Again, this word cha, like the cheese card, cha. A says a ah, cha, a ah, cha. T says ta, cha, at, chat. Excellent. Next word, check. Your turn. Cha, eh. Check. So at the beginning of this word, check, we've got ch. E says eh. And remember C and K, you can see those two together and they say k, they work together like buddies. Ch, ek, check. Excellent. Next word, rich. Your turn. Er. I, cha, rich. R says er. I says i. And ch at the end of the word, cha, er, i, ch, rich. Now let's go ahead and read our first line. Such, chat, check, rich. Your turn. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Make sure you're practicing. It's been a couple weeks even since we practiced this stuff. So make sure you're practicing. All right. Next word. Chin. Your turn. Cha. I. N. Chin. Again, we've got cha, like cheese, beginning of the word. I says I and says N cha in chin. Thank you. All right, so the next word is graph. Your turn. Gur a graph. Now for this 
one. This is the pH. So the pH. So pH will make the F sound. You know that when we see pH and P says pa and H says ha, not when they're together. When they're together, they don't say pa and ha. They get rid of those sounds and now they say so in the word graph, we hear gr, which is that beginning blend with G and R. You just blend those two together, gr, gr. A says a, gr, a. And PH will make the F sound. PH says Graph, graph. Very, very important that you remember that because if you try to sound it out with just each letter, ga er a pa ha, ga er a pa ha. So if I've seen people say it like that, so you just have to have that skill in your back pocket. P H. All right, next word. Chop. Your turn. Sh a pa. Chop. In this word, shop, we are using the shell card, where SH is going to say sh, like shell. O says ah. He says pa, sh, op, shop. Again, you just have to know that S and H, when they're together, say sh, because you can't go sa, pa, sa. That doesn't sound right. It doesn't even sound like a real word. All right, next word. Wish. Your turn. Wa, i, sh, wish. W says wa. I says it, <clears throat> and here's S H at the end of the word this time. Sh, wa, i, sh, wish. Excellent. So let's read our second line. Chin, graph, shop, wish. Your turn. Thank you. All right, next word. Then, your turn. Eh, mm. mm. Then, but the word then begins with the digraph, that's what they're called, TH. Now TH is like the thumb card. And again, you just have to know that TH is because if you try to go taha, if you were to say it with the word then, it wouldn't sound right. H, like the thumb card. E says eh and says mm, mm, and then. So actually then is a high frequency word. So we always talk about how you can't sound out high frequency words. But if you've got that TH in your back pocket and you just know the TH says then you can sound out a high frequency word here. Let's see, do we have one here? No, we do not. But the word then is a high frequency word. Next word, sing. Your turn. S, I, ng, sing. S says s. I says I. And G, ng, ng. So sing is using the NG, which is the sing card. Now, NG is probably the easier digraph, is what they're called, to sound out. Because you can, in, in the ing sound, you could hear ng, ng. Okay, next word. Sang, your turn. S, A, 
Sang. 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 And sang is like sing yesterday in the past. S says s. A says a. And G. Ng. Ng. Sang. Sang. And last word. Bang, your turn. Ba, ang, ga, bang, bang. So I heard a loud bang. B says ba. A says a. And G like the sing card. Nga, ng. Now let's blend. Ba, ang, bang. All right, let's read our last line. Then, sing, sang, bang. Your turn. Thank you so much if you are participating. I see it, I notice, I appreciate it. All right, we'll do a sentence. W H like the whale card says wa. Again, you kind of just have to know the W H wa. You can hear W. You don't necessarily hear the ha, but W H wa. You can't go wa ha wa ha. Doesn't always work. E says e eh, wa e eh, wa. N says n, wa, n, when. I think when is also a high frequency word, but the word what has that same wh. So now you see this and you're not sure what the word is, you can sound it out. If you know that wh says wa, you know that a says a, you know that t says ta, wa, at, wet. Okay. W says what? I says it. And two L's at the end. We just double up on the O. What? Ill. Will. And high frequency word. The. CH, like the cheese card. Cha. I says it, CK, K, CH, ick, chick, when will the chick, H says H, A says A, and T, C, H, like the cheese card also says cha, but again, you will only see TCH at the end of a word. You will never see TCH at the beginning of the word. It's the same as cha, like cheese or such or chat or check or rich, still that cha, but it's TCH only at the end of a word. Okay, let's go ahead and read our sentence. When will the chick hatch? Your turn. Excellent. Thank you. So we need some punctuation. So please put a big thumb in the air if you think this is going to be a period at the end of our sentence. Okay, not a period. Uh, thumb in the air if you think it's going to be a question mark. It is a question mark. Thank you so much for your thumbs. So we have to have a question mark at the end of this sentence because it has an answer. So when will the chick hatch? I think the chick is going to hatch tomorrow. It's really, really close. I've seen it kind of trying to poke out of there. So I think that chick is going to hatch tomorrow. Or your the answer could be, you know, if someone said, when will the chick hatch? Oh, you didn't notice the chick already hatched yesterday. Oh, look how cute it is. Um, all right, let's do nouns and verbs. 
Okay, so we know that a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So in this sentence, when will the chick hatch, we have one noun. That is the chick. The chick is our noun. It's something that you could touch. It's nice and cuddly and furry. And our verb. This sentence only has one verb. A verb is an action. It is something that is being done. Most of the time, you can see a verb happening. Sometimes, you can't. In this sentence, when will the chick hatch? What is the action? What is being done? Hatch. And we have talked about how the verb is what the noun is doing. So if you were to see this and you know, you know the chick is a noun, you know that. But you know, oh, I can't figure out the verb. What is the chick doing in this sentence? It's going to hatch. So that's another clue to kind of um, let you know what the verb is. All right. Thank you so much for your focus and your participation. We'll see you later.